Hi guys, out in the woods again today. Bit of a swampy area. Been a bit of an hard dig today. It's full of nothing but trash around here. I don't know what that is. It's not very heavy, I thought it was brass. I'm not sure. Lots of iron, bits of bottles. I'll give it another hour, see how I'll go on. If not, I'll oh, some other woods over there, I'll nip over there. Thanks for watching, join me on the next hole. Hi guys, oh out of breath. I'm still in the woods still. Come across this little clearing, these trees fell down. Don't know when that's come down. But just found this. I can only assume it looks like a lamp. By the way, the base at the bottom, I think it's a lamp. A hook there. Looks copper. Not sure what that is. I think it's a lamp. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hi guys. <coughs> I just want to show you the other side of the tree. I don't know if you can see all those bricks in there. It's a brick wall that the tree's grown through over the years. Left a great big crater as it's come down. Where those bricks are from, I don't know. There's been some sort of a barn here or something. That's what's been making it hard to dig through because I'm trying to dig through those bricks. I mean, there could be stuff in there, but I'm not, I'm not getting in there. That is deep and cold. Maybe in summer I'll come back and oops, see if uh, see if it's dried up a bit. There might be things in there, there probably isn't, but there might be. Thanks for watching, join me on the next hole. Hi guys, <coughs> thought I'd nip into the woods in between the rain showers. It's getting quite flooded around here. It's very clay soil around here and the water's not got nowhere to go really, but it does find these little channels. It runs off. I had loads of signals. I think there's either an old house site over there or a barn or something, but there's loads of corrugated iron and bits of stuff. Anyway, just coming up to these trees, I found these two lovely old bottles. This one's still got its stopper in. Old screw type stopper. It says it's in Macclesfield, which is uh, about 20 miles up the road. Add sheds or something, whatever it's called. I'll go on the internet later on and have a a look, see if I can't find out any information about that. Lovely top. And then this looks like an old port bottle, whiskey bottle. Old cork style at the top. Don't know how all these things are. I'll uh, leave them here for now, come back and pick them up on the way back. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, cold Sunday morning, or Sunday afternoon should I say. Just popped out for a couple of hours. Got a nice signal in that hole. I thought, oh, it's just your normal piece of iron. Well, I do believe that is a hammerhead. Not as in the shark, but as a hammerhead, as in on the end of hammer. That's a nice find. Just means I've got to carry that around in my pocket now. <laughs> but never mind. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Guys, that was my first silver in 2014, but it's not. It's Eric. And Eric's lost his keys. How long ago Eric lost his keys? I don't know. And that's what it says on there. Eric. Got your keys back, Eric. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Join me on the next hole. Hey guys, just a quick uh, video roundup of the um, finds I've had for the last couple of weeks, just before Christmas and into the new year. Uh, 
nice bottle about the 50s still got the stopper in it I don't know what was in it but it smelled really badly so I've washed, washed it out another knife set one of these I found on a hunt don't know why I keep finding them little bits of uh, stuff a few pistol balls this is quite interesting it's the hammerhead cleaned it up don't know how old that is it's a strange shape with this uh, pointy bit at the back if anybody knows the age of that I'd appreciate it if you could tell me there it's keys uh, a lead plaque this uh, is a animal tag cow tag uh, when I was cleaning that out <laughs> I thought there was a piece of grass stuck in the middle of it and it turned out to be a piece of ear so I kept that and threw the bit of ear in the bin. This that I thought was a battery but it's not. It's a lead weight type of thing with a knobbly bit on the top. Tractor. Mm. Oh, chug chug chug. It's chugged its last chug. A few different buttons. This is quite an interesting button. Uh, when I was cleaning it up it's a bit damaged but I don't know if you can see it. But it says British Railways. And that is a uniform button from about the 50s because it actually changed to British Rail. It was privatised and it went to British Rail. Uh, so that's quite a nice button. Bit of spoon, loads of twos, yabba dabba doos, ones, couple of pound coins, old 50s, 10, two new 50ps that were in. Well, not in the same hole, but we're next to each other, and they've got exactly the same date of 1997. It's strange. Two different holes, purchased the same coins. This I thought was just a bit of a nut. I was cleaning it, I thought that was a bit of iron, but that's a piece of cork. And on the top there, you can't see it, but it says for the hair only, with a company name on it. This piece would have unscrewed. That would have gone into a little bulb or a little hair jar and it would have sat in a barber's or on somebody's dressing table. And screw that, put it in your hair, brill cream, royal or something. Maybe it made your hair grow. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, some stuff for fishing. Not many older coins. Uh, we've got a George 6th 1948 and a George 6th 1947. This one, you can just see the outline of it. I believe is a William III. That was the first coin of the New Year. Found that New Year's Day night. So that's the first coin of the New Year. And then, on to these bad boys. I don't know if you watched uh, Danny's video, Mr. Crabbernay. Me and Danny have set ourselves a challenge this year that anybody can join if, if, if you find blank copper disc coins like these. We've called it Totally Toasted. You've got to have no details on them whatsoever. They're just completely gone. I mean, I'd assume those are two half pennies and that's a farthing, but there's nothing, <laughs> there's no left on them at all. Uh, and what we said we'd do, whoever finds the most, all the losers send them the, the blank discs that they found throughout the year. It could be one, two, it could be 200, and the winner gets those. Now, I've said if I win, I will uh, take all the coins to a local scrapyard at the back here and see what I can get for the coins. And if I can get some money for them, then uh, I'll donate that to uh, a children's charity, maybe, or, or a charity of some sort. So if you want to take part in that, you don't really have to join us such, just make a video of your, your, your blank coins and we'll keep adding them up like the guys do with the silver coins and the rings and just see who comes out on top at the end of the year. There's a few guys who said he'll do it, uh, Ponguru said he'll do it and uh, Danny and Liven and um, Dan, uh, Dan Dutchy. So yeah, it's just a bit of fun for the year just to see what we can pull out. So that's basically about it. 
If you uh, haven't subscribed to Danny's channel already, Mr. Crabbin uh, go and do so. Brilliant channel, great videos he gets out there in all weathers, a bit like me. <laughs> bit injured at the moment, I won't be going out for a couple of days, but it'll do me uh, good to have a bit of a rest. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.